Beloved saints of God, this is an update with Perry Stone's statement regarding JoLynn Whitaker. I will attach the link below to his post. On her video response to my videos, she said that she completed a mentorship program with Perry Stone and Dr. Brian Cutshaw, and in numerous other videos and posts, she had claimed Perry is her spiritual father and mentor. This is Perry Stone's post from his official Facebook page today, February 1st, 2019. He said, also, I am receiving numerous emails from people about a woman who says she is being mentored by me and Dr. Cutshaw, and yet she is in a type of new age and posts things very occultic. This is an opportunist and you should ban her and not mess with her website. I do not ever mentor women, nor no woman has ever been to my house for mentoring, and I do not ever counsel or meet with women any time or any place for teaching privately. I set rules years ago to never counsel anyone, period. My time is spent with groups in a teaching setting or in church services where I preach and pray with people. Some unethical people use our name to pull people to their Facebook pages or fake sites. Be discerning and block them as this is the only site and we have hundreds of thousands of followers and not 30 or 40. We deal with this every day at VOE and OCI. In addition to all this, since John said in her video response that all he knows is Jesus, his daughters Megan and Adele are witches and Satanists according to their public Facebook pages. Joe Lynn and John Whitaker are friends with them on Facebook as well. There is much more to come for JoLynn Whitaker and John Whitaker. They will not get away with covering up their lies in the name of Jesus, and no amount of bullying or threats will scare Almighty God. You cannot use God's word against God. If only she knew the finished work of Jesus Christ upon the cross, she wouldn't have said what she said in her response video. It is not slander to expose the truth. It is written in Hebrews 4, 12 and 13. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him whom we must give account. The word says in Numbers thirty-two twenty-three. But if you do not do so, then take note, you have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out.